So, so semiconductor, when they, you know, it's a major uh, push, right, for the government and all those kind of things. And uh, uh, both from central government and all the states are also competing on this. And semiconductor is kind of the foundation. You got technology, no matter wrong. Whenever you say about technology, what does that mean? Right? Technology, na, uh, we always think about software and you know gadgets and all that, right? But all the foundation is the semiconductor. The chip has to be there, right? So without the foundation, you just can't build on it. So today you hear about Nvidia. Nvidia is a very very successful company. It's probably one of the largest company in the world now, right? Nvidia is a chip company, semiconductor company. So you know, so you need this, right? I call it, you know, like a highway, right? Internet, uh, on the, you know, you, you build the internet uh, highway, and then all the software companies are sitting on top of it, whether it's e-commerce or you know, delivery or you know, financial, whatever it is, right? It's built on the internet highway. So, Almari, you know, any technology, you need the foundation, which is the chips. So, I come from the chips background. Uh, I'm uh, from IIT Karakpur, I'm an ECE guy. Uh, as usual, on the Kalpula, on the 80s, Laila, on the, you know, there's no jobs, you know, opportunities for us here. So we all, you know, migrated out. So most of my life, I've been in the U.S. Um, 2003, Laila, I started my own company, Tesol, which is an engineering services company. Right? Uh, services company, on the, because it's very uh, uh, proven model, right? Whether it's Infosys or TCS, they're all services, right? We just do service for somebody else. Whatever they want us to do, we do it. They will tell us exactly what to do and we do it. So ours was like a little bit different. We were an engineering services company for the semiconductor industry. So 2003, we've been out like 20 years now. And uh, other companies also came uh, you know, after us as well uh, to establish the engineering services for the big chip companies. Right? So we have built the uh, what I, I should say, you know, the, the the mass, the number of people. For example, Tesla, the company that I started, is a test engineer. I'm a test engineer. I started as a test engineer at Texas Instruments. So we, uh, I started as a test uh, services company. Today, I'm very proud to say, now they're doing other things as well, but I would say, you know, the, uh, about 3,000 over people in the company. And uh, I would say more than 10,000 test engineers we have developed in India, and mostly from uh, rural also, right? I always made it a point to bring the uh, second generation, uh, you know, people from uh, rural colleges who are like first time graduates in their families. So we made it a point. So we did a lot of things like that. So I would say today, semiconductor the company in the worldwide, there will be at least one or two engineers who have come from our company, who are there. Whether Intel, or AMD, or Nvidia, etc. So we have done a lot of this. Now, then I kind of you know sold the company to Hero Group, Hero Motorbike Group. I was running it for a while, and then uh, 21 I joined uh, Tata. So Tata wanted to get into semiconductor initiative. So I was one of the first uh, CEO for the. Uh, they wanted to have a, a manufacturing semiconductor manufacturing so I, I was there for a couple of years to set the foundation on you know to to what should be the strategy and all this and being an entrepreneur I left uh, Tata about a year ago and I said look you know the time has come for India to come up with its own chips right own brand own chips so IVP is the uh, is going to be a Indian chip company and it will be, uh, uh, you know, our hope is, you know, this will be branded as a global company in the years to come. So the big difference between service and product is, service is we are doing something for somebody else. This product company, we are going to become competitors to the existing players, which are mostly foreign companies. There is no sizable Indian companies. Right? Most of the Indian companies, startups, are in you start up with the developing an IP, then you start making a product, right? And the IP stage, when they, they will get exhausted because the, you know, the funding is not there, the understanding of how to go to market is not there, selling into the market, creating a channel, all these kind of things that needs to be. 
So usually design fellows will know the design, but how do you get it to market and get it designed and you know uh, sell this, they, they would not know. And because manufacturing was not there, semiconductor manufacturing doesn't exist in India. They have to work with Taiwan or Korea or Japan or you know US and all that. And the skills are not there. We were lacking in those skills. So we ended up uh, you know just doing IPs. Uh, and you know IPs, you can't become a billion dollar company with an IP. Right? And then they get tired of it and then they eventually get bought over by some big company. So this has been our story. Now we want to change that. And the alignment of all the factors are now pretty good. We got the government very well aligned to this. They are creating all these manufacturing capacity, which I mentioned we need it, right? Design, we have fantastic people, right? So manufacturing is coming up, design we have. We need this product company to put this together and build products, which is what IVP is going to do. So with that, you know, I uh, leave it to you. Please ask questions and... Uh, which industries? your product service okay we are starting with power power segment right which will uh, you know the reason why we pick power power now uh, you have uh, renewable energy like solar wind uh, your batteries you know storage storage uh, requirements and uh, transmission requirements and so all of this i i believe the entire power is uh, power industry is going to change right uh, the grid is being, you know, uh, becoming a smart grid. We we need to double the grid capacity. So this tremendous amount of opportunities for electronics you know, uh, market in this. So we are targeting that as one of our prime markets. What exactly would this product do for power? Okay. So let us say, you know, uh, solar. Right. Solar. Like first thing, what happens is it's a DC DC power you come, so you get an inverter. So you have the, like an end phase which will be like a, what they call a micro inverter or you have these big inverters. So inverter solar only there is a lot of electronics that go, needs to go inside. Uh, so we're very, just to give you a you note, know, like MOSFETs. Right? We need a lot of MOSFETs which will do the conversions. Uh, there are other parts in that also. And then there is uh, some small microcontrollers are required. So it will be in this sector not you know what we are not going to do is going into the processing right this av processing like a nvidia kind of thing we are not going to do because we need to learn how to walk before we run so power sector is a growth market for india it's a huge market for india although the margins you know product margin may not be high but it is an assured market so we are going after the market. so within, within this area whose products your product features. Okay. So the big players today are ST Micro, Infineon, On Semi, uh, Nexperion or company uh, and uh, you know, TI to some extent, Texas Instruments. These are all foreign companies, the big companies in this market. So yes, so we will start, you know, replacing. So what's your advantage over there? So the the advantage is this. Um, See, I, I don't think I can design something better than that. Right? I'm from Texas Instruments, so I know. Uh, they've been doing this for the last 50, 60 years, right? But I my value addition or my uh, value creation is I work closely with the Indian customer who is multi, may, making these inverters and all those kind of products. So I closely work with them. Right? So the designing the end product with my chips None of these companies look at India as a tier one. Right? For for India, I'll give you an example. I when I was in Tata, uh, <coughs> Tata Tata Motors is big in India, right? And into EV, right? So there's a lot of electric chips that goes into you know electrical cars and two wheelers, right? But the suppliers of this chip for Tata Motors do not consider Tata Motors a tier one. Number look at tier one, you know Tata Motors is big. But global about in EV like Tata Motors is not even in the top 10. So from their viewpoint, whether it's Infineon, NXP, or other viewpoint, we are tier twos. But for me, I'm only targeting the Indian customer. So he is my tier one, right? He's my god, right? So I will put all my resource in making sure that his product works. I'm here for him. So that is one big advantage, right? That 
we're closely working with the customer on the field application and system system architecture, right? Because most of the Indian companies, uh, they they don't do their design themselves. Or a reference design in China, you know, they just kind of you know, use that or another box support it. Something they are doing. The, the deep designs are not done here. Now that needs is changing. So we are disrupting that as well. IVP, IVP is doing only the designing and the testing. Who is going to take the production? No, no, no. Uh, am I going to make the chip myself? The model, is a, we, we call it fabulous uh, semiconductor, right? For NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA, you tell you between there. NVIDIA is a big company and all that. They don't do any manufacturing themselves. It's all outsourced. Same with uh, Apple. Apple is a very good example. Apple is such a big company. They don't have any factories. Right? It's all outsourced. Foxconn, Vandra, Vandra, whoever it is. Right? So ours will be very similar. Okay? We will not do the manufacturing outside. We call ourselves fabulous companies. We will buy wafers from Taiwan or Japan or Korea. We will get the packaging done in India once the Tata, CG Power, they, once they start having their factories. And testing, and I want to keep it internally. We will do the all the chip testing will be done by my IDP, and then we'll sell it. Sell it to the end customer. So what kind of arrangement you are having with Tamil Nadu government? So Tamil Nadu government, we are working with them very closely. They are very interested in you know, developing uh, chip company like us. So we are talking to multiple aspects. One of them, you know, we are talking about uh, uh, setting up the test center uh, here in Chennai or somewhere close by, uh, where you know they can participate either uh, uh, as, as a grant or as, as an equity. Or you know, so I'm talking to various people that can go, uh, various people. But you know, they they are very very keen on doing some of these things. We have not come to any final agreements yet, but we are closely working. How many people will be uh, So as I told you, we are not doing the manufacturing. So in terms of people, uh, I would say we will have maybe 200 to 250 people in the next three years. So one question that I like to ask. You can do it, you are close to the customer. And the next year, if we can come and run you over, yeah, I see, I'll tell you why. Also get involved in the chip selection. Right? So now they are working with us. Right? They're saying, hey, you know, number one is can we replace some of the already designed it? Then secondly, they want to enhance the features of this. Right? But one of the big uh, movement going on today is the BLDC. Right? You must have heard of BLDC, right? So BLDC will reduce power, reduce sound. Right, it's a you know better better product. Right? With a fan, it is not very. You need to buy BLDC motors. If you take your air conditioning also, right? right? BLDC fan So my point is, in all these situations, right? You need some amount of design capability, and you need the the chips. We we have chips for the BLDC uh, motor. So we have motor drivers chips that go. It goes like, you know, there is a set of chips that needs to be done. And then you need a microcontroller also. So, I think, you know, you see, the, the big boys will be there. But I think there is a room for us. And uh, I'm going to focus, on the, I think, to more and more on the high and high uh, margin kind of type of business. Like, for example, right, I'm not playing in the four-wheeler uh, EV market. That's a, you know, there's four or five companies in the world trying to capture that market. On the charger side, I will play, but not inside the automobile. Right? Maybe five years, ten years from now, maybe we will we'll start doing that. So we pick the market, uh, and these customers are telling us, sir, you know, if you, I, you know, see, Taiwanese companies buy from Taiwanese, right? European companies buy from European. Can you imagine me trying to sell to Mercedes or uh, Volkswagen or a BMW? They will never buy from us. Same with you know, Japanese. Japanese will buy from Japanese. Koreans will buy from Koreans. Right? So my view is, if we have a good product, like uh, you know, the, this fellow uh, Dan Fos, uh, person said, we will be able to, you know, if you give a good reliability product, they'll buy from Indian company. There's some advantage there also, right? Indian uh, currency, right? you can buy uh, using Indian currency. And I'm there next door to him. 
so how cost effective are your product compared to global peers uh, and uh, so are you customizing these products uh, for your customers yeah so initially uh, what i call the catalog products is a drop in product that means there's hard, there's no customization right so you take a pcb i will see okay this five chips i have it's already designed is already working i would just take this five i tell the customer drop in my chip and it should work and i'll help him you know get it done so that is my phase one but in the process i also identify how i can customize it right i can uh, reduce two chips three chips uh, i can improve the the the, uh, the thermal uh, uh, qualification of that thermal characteristics so the modules that we have built improves significantly on the thermal side of things see now it is facing extreme weather okay. there was a case uh, you know in delhi recently you know air conditioner don't work just don't work because electronics doesn't work at the particular temperature it was you know running so high most of the electronics there is a self shut uh, shutdown system or certain temperature will shut down then we have something called a runaway effect it will actually start a fire right you see right in the uh, two wheel some charges uh, charge one will a fire now you hear about it right so those are the kind of things right we the local market we will customize and start you know, putting uh, stuff but my my thought is i have to get to the customer first see na customization pandana adu or 2 3 years aidum so i have to start getting into the customer first and that is what i'm doing with the replacement drop in substitution even at a lower margin i'm willing to take it that's okay access to customer is number one once i have access to customer i know how to build better products so your products are 40% cheaper compared to this nxp and not 40% i don't need to be 40% okay i also talk to the customers you know uh, see number one is the advantage they have right the question you asked was the advantage they have is you know their volume game right they are supplying worldwide and they were established so you know their factory costs and all this kind of mm-hmm. things will be cheaper than mine. so initially you know uh, we will have to compete and uh, some of the you know we will uh, uh, compete you know even at the taking a loss mm-hmm. but that's part of our business model you see no company you know will become profitable in the first 3 to 5 years right so what's the volume you are looking at you are expecting uh, 70 to 100 million in the next 2 to 3 years Three to three to four years. Yes. So, what's the volume we are looking at? See, um, in, you know, I, I it's hard for me to tell you this because um, you know different chips come and you know different depending on uh, the, you know, the customers buying you know the high ASP average selling price chip or the low ASP selling price chip. But just to give you some rough idea, right? In order to be in this range, in this power segment, you will have to be selling. about close to 1 to 1.2 million units a day in order to get to 100 million i'm just giving you based on a very average asp price okay so uh, your basket of applications is currently very narrow right uh, you can uh, there are a lot of other applications in like ev auto price not just uh, the core uh, but even for the slicing systems and what not so uh, are you exploring those applications yeah so actually we are exploring you know i've told that i said you know the power market power market la uh, renewable energy and those kind of things we also looking at all the ev in ev la we are looking at two wheelers first because two wheelers require lower uh, lower wattage and so you know so when it comes to high wattage then we have to switch to silicon carbide i'll talk to you about silicon carbide also uh, so we are also looking at and i'm not going into the automobile four wheeler and trucks and all those things because qualification time is very long right so being a new player i don't want to get sucked into that you know resource la you know it goes there then i'm there are a lot of the consumer electronic applications ah, so so, so the second sector is on the ev charging market and so on this fast charger both are you know like i mean you can charge this on the the, the low end charger or you can charge within 15 minutes using the you know 70 by watt charger right so so i think you know there will be different uh, market the other one is the iot and the industrial sector lots and lots of uh, uh, power requirement so what 
What is the arrangement you have with what? Diplo, you said that Diplo is willing to invest in, the, in your company. Okay, so let me, so currently uh, it's funded by me and some friends. Right? So it's a self funded with some friends and all that we started. Uh, we have uh, funded based on what close to $5 million, $5 million plus. So 45 uh, crores to 50 crores is the current investment we have right? uh, to start this phase one. We are talking to Ditko and uh, to you know uh, to fund it. We have not uh, got the final agreement yet. How are you talking to who? Ditko. So are you looking at other uh, private equity? Oh yes, yes. See, I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. Actually, I got uh, venture capital, private equity, and some large family companies in India willing to fund me entirely. But I don't want to take the route. <laughs> because my valuation. last venture. Huh? Because of valuation. Because of valuation, no, I don't know. Valuation is okay. I'm okay to live with certain valuation. The bigger problem is once they put money, they will tell me what to do. You know, I'm at a stage in my life, I don't want to listen to anybody. I want to do what I think is right. So, in the so value chain, you're going to be doing design and testing. <laughs> So do you see yourself getting to other branches of management, maybe assembly, packaging? No. Not at all? I want to be asset light. Right? That means I don't want to get into the manufacturing piece of it. My company will always outsource to, let's say CG Power is going to do the OSAT, right? So you know, I'm talking to Vilayan and saying, hey, you know, when you are ready, I'm, you know, these are the packages you should start uh, when, you, when you set up a line. And so we are working with the team like that. So, so I will not get into that. So there yeah. are a lot of investors so for the uh, testing center. Sorry? How much you are going to invest to set up the testing center? Testing center, you know, so we have two, <coughs> two ways of doing it. One thought I have is rather than we setting up our own test center, we're trying to work with the government on this, where it could be a common testing center for multiple companies. So we will put some investment into the test center, but the test center itself need not be 100% owned by me. So we'll probably you know, invest maybe about a million dollars or so in a, in a setup like that. A test center will require maybe five, six million dollars. Any any plans of manufacturing chips in India? No, no, th so this, that's what I'm saying, no. No, you, you said you're outsourcing no? manufacturing in India. So once the, uh, the ecosystem builds up, let's say CG Power, Tata, they're putting up the factories, right? Manufacturing factories. So I will manufacture them. See, today I'm, I'm getting the wafers from Taiwan and Japan, right? Once the Tata fab comes up in uh, Gujarat, right? I will start buying wafers from Gujarat and from Tata here. So I want to ask you about how much uh, cost difference that will give us? Is there any benefit in turn or time? It's very, it's taking a long time to get your chips from Taiwan, right? So, what are the advantages you're saying? No, not, not really. See, during the COVID 20, 21, 22 was the worst year okay. from a supply chain standpoint. Right? That, that is what you are saying is right. Today, I mean today, other than AI, if you are NVIDIA, you know, doing these big chips, AI chip, ample capacity available. <laughs> no, tape output, you know, see analog parts, you know, you will, you will get it within two to three weeks. 